Welcome to Evolution of Self with me, Britannia. Hello. So this week I want to talk to you about making right or being right and making wrong. Now it's something that we all do, <laughs> although most of us don't even realise and it becomes part of our personality. And the reason we do this is because when we're right, it's a survival mechanism. So to be right means to ensure our survival. If we're right, then we're doing everything right, and it means that um, we will survive in the world that we sort of, as we know it. And they're most likely things that you've learned from your parents or for those around you when you were growing up. And you're most likely not even aware that you do these things. So I'm just sort of looking back through the last few weeks as to what I do to make myself right and others wrong, and also looking at those around me and how they make themselves right. And this is just a handful of things or ways that you can make yourself self right but if you fancy sort of exploring this so the reason why making right or being right and making wrong um, is not a very healthy way to live is that it polarizes people so if you're making yourself right and you're making other people wrong um, it, it doesn't feel good to those people I mean if you just think of it the other way around if somebody's being right and making you wrong it doesn't bring you closer to them. It creates separation and distance and hurt and pain and judgment and all sorts of other things. And we do it all the time without even thinking about it. So hopefully this week, what I'm sharing with you will make you think, maybe look at your life a little bit more and to see where in your life you can start accepting people the way they are instead of having to be right about something to make somebody else wrong and therefore make you the one that's more likely to survive. So some of the ways that you or you might find others make themselves right is for me I was a people pleaser, <laughs> still recovering people pleaser, so for me it's about turning myself inside out to be a nice person. That's how I make myself right and anybody who isn't being nice to me is wrong. Um, that's not how I you know any longer sort of view the world but that's how I sort of evolved to cope with situations in life and to try to survive. Um, other people become martyrs so they work really really hard um, and they actually they, they just try and be busy. Um, it doesn't really matter what they're doing as long as they're being busy then they can kind of make other people who are not being busy wrong. Another way that you might find people uh, make themselves right and other people's wrong other people wrong is in their judgments of what those people do so what they read what they spend their time on um, how they spend their money how they spend their time who they hang around with all of those things are judgments making somebody right and making somebody else wrong um, gossip anyone who partakes in gossip or reads gossip or interacts with it in any way is making themselves right and making somebody else wrong and it's all tied into these wonderful survival mechanisms that we inherently grew up with in our lives um, being angry um, some people use angry or anger as a tool to make themselves right and make other people wrong um, etiquette, protocols, um, ways of behaviour. If you're <laughs> if you're living in the UK, <laughs> queuing people who don't queue or don't queue the right way, um, they're wrong and you're right. Um, I'd have no idea why the English are so fond of queues, but they are. <laughs> fashion, you know, if you adhere to fashion and you think the way you dress is right and other people are wrong, it's again survival. Fitness, you know, people who are fit and healthy and they look at other people and think it's wrong not to be fit and healthy. That's making right, um, making yourselves right and making other people wrong. There are so many different areas in this. Um, chosen career paths, um, study and um, learning. You know, some people stay on all the way through university, get masters and things like that. They make that course, that choice in life right and those that don't choose it wrong. Um, there's so many different ways we do it in life. So I hope this week, if nothing else, I've just made you pause a little bit, reflect a little bit on where you make yourself right and where you make other people wrong and how you know if you're making yourself right and somebody else wrong is when you get that sort of self-justified kind of feeling. <laughs> um, maybe even just try and notice that in your life, when it is that you tend to make yourself right and how that feels um, and how it feels when somebody makes you wrong and how, how it hurts to be made feel wrong um, and how that'll affect you and your life and therefore those that you cause that feeling to as well. 
thanks for listening and I will see you again next week. Remember links to anything I've spoken about, to my website, to my courses, and if you so fancy coaching with me is all below in the show notes. So much love from me to you. Bye-bye.